Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Amory, Mississippi here at Nautic Star Boats. Today, the boat I want to show you, uh, I'm really excited about. This is a 2021 227 XTS. I'm going to step to the side here a little bit and make sure you see this boat. Um, the colors got to just speak for itself. This is our new for this year, slate gray with a black bottom. Um, beautiful boat looks super good with this trailer as well uh, this boat also has the uh, flint gray and sky gray interior you'll get a closer look at that in just a second um, but and it's a beautiful boat just everything about it the lines the colors everything matches it's just probably one of the, my favorite all-time boats that uh, I've ever seen built here it's, it is just beautiful I know it, like uh, anything else, pictures doesn't do it justice. You'd really have to see it for yourself. But, uh, man, what a beautiful boat. Uh, today I want to introduce you to uh, one of my best friends, uh, Mr. Jeffrey Hathaway. This is actually his boat. Um, he drove over from Alabama today to pick this boat up. And, Mr. Hathaway, um, I know this has been a kind of a long journey for you waiting on this boat. Um, know a lot went into the thought of what colors and how you optioned it and all when you ordered it so seeing it for the first time today what were your first thoughts walking up to the boat it's the most beautiful thing i've ever seen i believe this boat is just as sexy as it can be beautiful inside and out the gray on the black you're just gonna love it the interior with the gray this boat is just gonna be perfect and for my ever boat i appreciate the opportunity to let nautic star build me a boat yep. Well, we appreciate the opportunity to build you a boat. Uh, this is probably not the last time that uh, you guys will see this boat. Uh, Jeffrey and actually myself as well are, are about to be uh, getting in some tournament crappie fishing. So uh, our plans are to uh, kind of take you on the ride with us as we as we get uh, more involved with the tournaments and, and how we do in the tournaments. And, and uh, we'll have some videos that we'll post along the way. Uh, certainly the next video we'll do will be another video of this boat not only showing you the boat again but how we load it for the type of fishing that we do uh, and we'll talk about some of the advantages of why why Jeffrey chose this boat over something else in it you know just for the realm of crappie fishing for example there's a lot of features in this boat that make it a, a great boat for that that type of fishing and we'll go over all that we and show you how we rig the boat to, to suit Jeffrey's style of fishing and uh, we'll show you all that at a later date. But for now, my cameraman Wood, I'll walk around, we'll get inside the boat, and we'll just talk about it from one end to the other. All right, guys, now that we're in the boat, uh, one of the things I always like to do is just go over some of the statistics of the boat. Uh, for example, this boat is 22 foot, six inches long, has a beam width of 102 inches. Uh, max horsepower is 250, and you can you can see back there, we got, we got the, the big 250 show on there, so. We can't wait to uh, get this boat out on the water. Uh, transom height, 25 inches. Uh, approximate weight, 2,175 pounds. Uh, and a fuel capacity of 58 gallons. Um, boat has two live wells, console live well right here, 13 gallons. I don't know if you can see inside of it very well. but And then the uh, rear live well is 40 gallons. So it should be big enough to hold all those big crappie that uh, Mr. Hathaway puts in here. You know, more often than not, I'm just a net man. But uh, again, going back up here to the bow, we'll talk about how this boat was optioned. Uh, this one was optioned. You can see this trolling motor on the front. This is a 36 volt, 112 pound thrust, 60 inch Minn Kota oil tracks. Of course, if you know the oil tracks, it's, it has the eye pilot and the spot lock and and the remote control. Uh, Jeffrey and I both use these troll motors on our other boats, and um, we can't say enough good about them. I, I wouldn't want anything else. So uh, this one does have the 36 volt. Uh, one thing while we're talking about the trolling motor, uh, we did locate the batteries. Being 36 volt, obviously three batteries. We were able to get the three batteries and the uh, onboard charger all in the console here and then i realize you can't see that but 
but it you can you can do that they will fit going back up to the bow uh, anchor locker storage here at the bow anchors there and then a huge storage compartment in the next compartment here it's huge it goes all the way nearly to the back of the anchor locker so a lot of room for tackle rain suit life vest whatever whatever you may want to put in here and then this this is a a large fish box or ice chest either 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 way you want to use it but it will uh, keep ice pretty good it's insulated all the way around of course you have port and starboard rod lockers um, each one has a has a small rod rack inside of it and then uh, this one was optioned as well with the five drawer tackle compartment if you can see it it has the uh, tackle trays in here that'll certainly be handy Again, you have uh, rod holders on both sides of the console, three on each side, and then room for three rods in each side of the boat. So not to mention rocket launchers on back of the, the uh, leaning post here. So a lot of room to put rods, not, you know, with the rod lockers and all this. Should be plenty of room to store, store all your equipment. This one again was optioned with the uh, deluxe leaning post, again in the gray upholstery with the flip up bolsters and I don't know if you guys have uh, had the opportunity to lean up against one of these things with the flip up bolsters it really makes a difference on your back super comfortable makes operating the boat a whole lot more more comfortable especially if it's a little rough out there you got something against you there um, this boat was optioned with uh, trim tabs it has a hydraulic jack plate, um, water pressure gauge. One of the other things that Mr. Hathaway will do with this boat, uh, he loves to go to South Louisiana and chase those redfish and speckled trout. So having the trim tabs and the hydraulic jack plate was certainly a, a must for him down there fishing that skinny water. So boat's loaded with, with everything he'll need to do that with. Another neat feature here, when we were discussing ordering the boat that uh, he didn't even know existed was this Yeti slide. We all know how aggravating it is to wrestle with these coolers and, and trying to get a drink. The Yeti slide makes it so simple. It slides out, you got full access to your, your drinks. Easy, get done. Just slide it back in, it latches in place. So that's, that's a neat feature. Again, you have uh, the jump seats. All three jump seats in the rear. And under, under this one is what we'll call the house battery. And the batteries are, batteries are in this boat. So the house battery there. Of course, you've already seen the live well. And then the cranking battery on this side. Uh, two more compartments back here. This one is a cast net bucket storage. You've got room to put your cast net in here. It keeps everything nice and tidy. Uh, doesn't make a mess in your boat. That's that's probably the reason for the bucket. And then uh, last compartment on this side. Again, it's just storage. It has a drop-in insert, and then you have access into the bilge of the boat. Uh, probably uh, enough room to keep some life preservers or uh, maybe even a rain suit or something back here so guys that's a quick look at this 2021 227 xts as you can see beautiful boat the new colors yeah i'm really excited about that i think it's going going to be a big hit with a lot of people so uh stay tuned we'll show you this boat again once we get everything rigged out on it and get ready to start fishing some tournaments so uh stick with us we'll see you guys on the water thanks